Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to share what our holiday homeschool plans are for December. This year has flown by. We are about four and a half, five months into our homeschool year. So we are kind of getting to that midpoint. We are pretty much schooling all through December. We probably will take a couple days off the week of Christmas, but no big time off plans. So let's see what we're gonna do this month. Do like a Christmas specific unit study. I really just haven't found one to be honest that I love. Um, there is a mini unit from Barefoot Trees that's based on the Grinch and I think it's only like a couple pages of lessons. It's nothing big and so if we decide to do anything we'll do that. We'll do the fun, watch the Grinch movies. There's probably some activities. So that will probably be like the gist of any holiday specific unit studies um, just to keep it light and fun. We are still doing all of our main curriculum through the month of December math, language arts, reading, science, history. So our school days are still full. We're not slowing down on any of our normal curriculum. So because I kind of knew that we're only probably going to be doing that Grinch unit study, which only days if that, um, I wanted to get some fun like kind of activities for my kids. And so I was on probably Instagram and I had an ad that showed one of these um, kits from a company called KiwiCo where it like which I'll show it because I bought it. Um, it's like you use candles, so the heat from the candles to like propel something. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And it's Christmas themed. And so I've never used anything from KiwiCo. I've heard a couple things about it, but I want to say it to me, it just seemed a little, some of the stuff I saw was a little advanced until I popped purchase some stuff I didn't realize they had activities for all age levels so they focus a lot on like arts and crafts stem activities and they have stuff for older kids so now that my daughters are getting older I'm looking for kind of like those activities that aren't geared towards younger ages so <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff from KiwiCo. Um, this is not sponsored. I bought all this with my own money. Um, they do have like a friend share a link. So I have a link that I will share down below. You get a discount. I wanna say it's 10 or percent off. If you purchase and sign up, you get your own link that you can share with your friends too. So it's not sponsored. I saw an ad. I bought it and I'm sharing it with you guys. And I will try to link what I bought specifically. So three of these boxes came in like a Christmas kit. So they're three different activities, but they're part of like a Christmas bundle. So this is the one I saw the ad for. It's the Christmas carousel. And so your kids build this whole thing and then you have the candles and actually like light color and then move around. So I thought that that was really cool. It's obviously very STEM engineering heavy. This one was weird. It didn't come wrapped like these. So I don't have like this pretty little thing that tells me what ages it's for. But my favorite thing is it comes with all the supplies you need, which is like, that's the only way I can do activities. If everything's like bundled together, tell me what to do, we can do it. I do believe because of like the age levels of these, I'm pretty sure my older daughters are going to be able to do this all on their own. It comes with this instruction booklet and like step by step with pictures instructions. So like I said, I think my kids can do this on their own, which is what I'm hoping for. For my older daughters um they can follow the directions i haven't decided yet if like they're each gonna pick one and work on it if they're gonna work on it together i'll probably let them decide uh, but i'm really excited for this and then at the very end it explains aerodynamics so it's explaining why the hot air is doing it so it's kind of like a little mini lesson which i absolutely love so they're having fun doing these, you know, it's Christmas themed activities, but then they're also learning. So that is the first one. This next one is Make It Yourself Santa's Light Up Workshop for ages nine and up. Learn about electronics, um, design a workshop for Santa that really lights up. So this is like, you see all the lights up there. So we're gonna build something where we actually light up it. So it's almost like a gingerbread house, but without candy, 
the, the icing, all of that. So I think that this is really cute. And once all these are built, you can use them as like little decorations. This was the third one in the Christmas bundle. This is Make It Yourself Santa Sleigh Automation for ages five, five and up. And this is art and engineering. So I believe you crank it and then these like kind of move. Um, send Santa sleigh flying through the night. So those were part of like a Christmas bundle. I think if you bought them all together, you saved even more money on top of like using any discount codes. And then I thought for my son, because he's turning five, I was like, these might be a little too old for him. So I looked at their like younger age activities for Christmas. And so they had this one. This is the koala crate uh, for ages three plus. Do it yourself. They make like a little tree. And I really wanted something that he could do himself, which I think he can. He's going to put like the little beads to decorate the tree. And I think he's going to absolutely love this. And then a snowman wobbler. This is also for ages three and up. It's like a little snowman. Like if you push it down, it pops itself back up. And so again, I thought he would enjoy getting a little bit of independence for doing these. He gets to make his own stuff. And then we have the little, the ones that are a little bit, uh, you know, have a little bit more steps in the process. Uh, my older daughters can handle those. So that is going to be like our main holiday, Christmas, homeschool activities that we're gonna be focusing on. We'll probably wait until the first or second week of December and that's when we'll start these activities. Um, we'll do the Grinch unit study. Anything I talked about or shared, I will leave down below in my description box. I hope you all have an amazing holiday season. I love this time of year. I know a lot of people are taking breaks in their homeschool and that is awesome. Enjoy your breaks. Enjoy, like I said, the holidays. And if you're looking for content, if you're wanting me to review a specific curriculum, as always, please leave that down below in the comments so I can kind of focus on which videos you guys are wanting. Thanks so much for being here. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.